You talking to the Rolex wearing, diamond ring wearing, kiss stealing, willing dealing, limo jet flying. We Rick flaring on the niggas. We Rick flaring on the niggas. You talking to the Rolex wearing, diamond ring wearing, kiss stealing, willing dealing, limo jet flying. Uh, we Rick flaring on the niggas. Yeah, we Rick flaring on the niggas. Uh, it's apparent these girls staring. I'm Rick flaring. Go to cross my chest. I'm fresh to death. I'm Paul Barry. When I open like Betty Wops and find to these circles that's going in like a carry shot. Woo! I'm going in like a Mary Pop off that Mary Crop at the top flow at the Marriott. So questioning me is like questioning you. See, we the best dress, so come and get blessed with the crew. Not one but two. Different ways to slaughter your crew. Commit a tat across the chest, I guess she blessed with the truth. People want to see them checks, representation of proof. Living through my elders, trying to resonate to the youth. But ain't nothing to get my flash on. Legevity is heavily embedded in my melanin. Lame in terms, I last long. My ground repetitive, I'm smoother than real silk. Lyrical cash cow, who can't cry over spilled milk. We in here. You talking to the Rolex wearing, diamond ring wearing, kiss stealing, willing dealing, limo jet flying. This preparation with greatness Industry full of fakeness is really up for the taking See life is what happened to you More so how you take it Don't get stripped of your knowledge And mentally leave you naked I like to live otherwise I'm sorry that I'm fresh to death I put the polo and apologize See black sun We ain't nothing like the mother guys Quit to socialize You organize Then we mobilize off the deep end like a scuba diver And no confusion, just keep it pushing like Uber drivers Woo! Business fresh just like a supervisor In a Gucci visor, can't find a smoother rhymer You talking to the Rolex wearing Diamond ring wearing Kiss stealing, willing dealing, limo jet flying We Rick flaring on the niggas We Rick flaring on you the niggas You talking to the Rolex wearing Diamond ring wearing Kiss stealing, willing dealing, limo jet flying Just tell me what is we doing, get into it, okay, look, I'ma say this and keep it moving My boy Scotty, man, he off of the leash, black grad, paying college, I'm glad that he called me Walk it, cause we all been taught that talk is cheap, even primetime knows Scott for the HBCU streets Let's get into it, let's get into it, alright, cause I know you guys are, oh, you're on your lunch break So you're, you're, on, you're out and about, you know what I'm saying, in the middle of the day, happy Tuesday, happy Tuesday, happy Tuesday Alright, so um, this will be the only live show I'm going to do today 
And then from here on out, uh, be prepared for that round table on Wednesday at 730. Me and my boy Blue, the boy wonder, will be in the building breaking down the playoff matchup and the Pop Warner Classic. All right. So that's make sure y'all tune into that. So real quick, make sure you become a membership. Make, make sure you become a member of Offscript. All right. I got three tiers. $499.99, $19.99. Do your thing. Appreciate it. All right. And make sure you follow me on IG and Twitter. All right. I do a, I do all my stuff on IG and Twitter as well. You know, put a little stuff out there. So make sure y'all follow me on that and uh, do what it do. All right, let's get into this breakdown. And you see, I done upgraded before I would have to put it on. You see, I got a mic stand. You see me? You see me? All right. The boy done upgraded. So let's get into this. I'm not going. I'm not going. And what is it? With no further ado. All right. So let's let's get this popping. All right. So I'm gonna take me off let me see let me let me kind of see that okay cool so let me take this out we're gonna do this like this so what i'm what i'm doing today is i'm gonna break down the um jack state all corn game and what i'm going to do is show you some things that bothered me Things that I think the offensive coordinator did well. And I, I'm going to show you what makes Shador Shador. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to try to hit all those points today. I'm going to try to uh, give it to you guys in multiple layers and different things and stuff like that. So, But most importantly, I just want to show you what Jackson State likes to do, what Alcorn didn't do, and uh, we'll go from there. And, y'all, and you guys can be the judge of your own. All right, so let's get it going. Uh, I'm going to take me out. All right, so this is how we're going to ride out. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to do too much on me, but uh, I'm going to just try to get it going. We got to get that. There we go. Get that toolbar down there. Make that big. All right, now we're cooking with grease. All right, first play up, right? So I want you guys to see this. This is my issue with the defensive coordinator right here, right? So he ends up blitzing. He ends up blitzing the guy, but you're playing off. You're playing off. This guy's off. This guy's off. This and and this is what makes Shadour so good, right? Because as a quarterback, as a high level quarterback, you're always taught to throw towards the blitz, right? That's just that's a rule that quarterbacks are taught. You throw at the blitz because there's a there's a void. So that's what he does. He does it very smartly and intuitively. He throws it to the inside guys. But this is my problem with Alcorn. If you're blitzing. You got to mess up the timing on the same aspect. All right. You got to me- you got to do the time. Ta- you got to have the timing aspect thrown off as well to make him hold this ball. That's what blitzing is. I'm going to come at you fast. I'm going to play up on your receivers. So it messes up the timing. So you can't one, two, three and throw it because off a of, off a of pre snap read Shadur already knew where he was going with this ball. So you have to mess up the timing. They don't. He completes it. And Shadur does what he does. Easy money, picks up the first down. All right, next up. So uh, this is a play where you saw the DNs came to play early in the game. They were they they were locked in. They had a lot of energy, and they get to Shador pretty quickly. Number forty four. And I like how he. I mean, he beats them perfectly, right? Because what you're taught to do in this aspect, and I hope I can go. Yeah, perfect. So what you're taught to do in this aspect is. If you don't want to, you don't, what he, this is just bad. Oh, God, this is, I mean, this is beat like a drum bad, all right? Head down, uh, feet stopped, because what he's supposed to do is he's supposed to push him out of the pocket. He's supposed to push him that way so Shador can step up and get up, right? But he flattens out, right? He flattens it out, and then that's how he gets the sack. So he does a really good job of stemming this back inside, staying flat, playing towards his, uh, his, uh, his backfield shoulder, because this is where you don't want to be at, right? You don't want to be too far up. You want to be about right here, you know, aiming at this part, and then he flattens it out and gets the sack. Boom. Too easy. Pretty. Nice and pretty. See it again. Get some. Ooh, ooh. Center gets rolled up. Ah. All right, next up, they go three down. What? See, once again, he stems it. Like the, the tackle does what he's supposed to do. Shadur does what he's supposed to do is step up. And then that's when you have your spy ready, comes in, 
Boom. This should have been all day. They should have been running that scheme all day to consistently have a spy on top of Shador. Consistently. They didn't do it consistently, so he got a lot of yards, but that's how you make it happen. All right? Now, this is what we're taught. This is what I was taught, right? As this guy, I think it's a CJ Bowler, you're supposed to sit, boom, right there. This is perfect. It's a perfect read, perfect completion. Get up, Phil, make it happen. I like that. I like that. That should be a nice pre-snap read. Too easy. All right, let's see. Look, this. I, I got to show you this play. This is why Houston is a freaking monster, right? You got four. You got five blocking. All right. You got five. One, two, three, four, five. You got four coming, right? Look at what Houston does right here. I, I want you guys to follow this, man. This man right here. This is where Houston is down here. Look at how he splits this. Look at this. Stems him up, pushes in. He's the only re. He's the only reason Felix has to spin out. Everybody else was blocked. Now it's got a good push. Now it's got a really good push, but not enough to force him. He might have would have just slotted out or stepped back or whatever. But Houston single-handedly beats two blockers, makes him step up, spin out, didn't get the sack, comes out, and Felix has to do what Felix does from there. And this man... I was. I thought this was going to go for a big gain if he could have caught this. Just a little too high. Missed him. They had to punt. All right. Next up. Once again, I got. This is this is just stupid. This is just stupid by the defensive coordinator. Why? Listen. Why are you telling this man to slide in? Why? Why is he? Why is he sliding in here? Why is he? This is what he's doing. He's cutting in here, which is leaving all this free room for Shador. It doesn't make any sense. You, there's no containment out here, none. And what are you doing? Okay, so he picks up the running back. Now there's definitely nobody containing out here. You're just asking for him to run. But Shadur is a, a pass first guy, so he sees it. But the only reason he sees this is because my man has to come off because he's like, dang, I don't want I don't want Shadur to get all these 10 yards for free. So, but once again, plays him like a fiddle. All right, Shador plays him like a fiddle, hits it for what? That's a 20 yard completion right there. 20, that's like a 22 yard completion. Easy money on second and seven. Crazy, horrible, horrible. Doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make any logical sense. All right, see it again. Next play. All right, listen. Shador is not a dummy. All right. Like, let's 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 break this down. That's about five yards. That's about eight yards. That's about five yards. That's about seven yards. About, let's be, these are about seven yards for each of these. He's not a dummy. You're giving him he literally he can pick wherever he wants to go. He's like, all right, cool. Where where do I where do I want to go with this ball? All right, it's literally his because you're not you're not making them change up anything. You got four down linemen. You're hoping your D line gets there. I understand that, but I would I would play up on these guys in the middle, right? I'll play up on these guys. This is the easy throw. These out routes. These are the easy throws. These in cuts, the slants. These are the easy throws. So your guy should be about here to put hands on to disturb this timing. These guys are okay. Right. I, I'm OK with this. As long as you're not 10 yards and playing, I'm not really bad with that Um, because nine times out of 10, Jack State's going to do a hitch route or a comeback. So I'm not really upset with the, the outer. It's the inner. It's the inner for me. That's that. That's the problem for me. I, I, I'm OK with these because you're not you're not trying to give up the deep play. You're not trying to give up the deep fade. So I, I'll live with that. But I just feel like you got to play the inside just a little bit better. See, boom, that's a five. yard. You, you're, you'll live with that. You're OK. You'll live with that. All right, next up. I like this play, right? 
And I think more teams need to do it actually against Jackson State because it's pretty much a, a, a sweep. They're, they're blocking. All these people are blocking on the inside, and then you just toss it, and he gets around. You see what I'm saying? Like, he picks up the linebacker. He picks up. You got a pulling, you got a pulling guy here. Listen, this works against James Houston. I don't give a damn what you're talking about, right? But what I would do is I would send this guy – you know, at James, this guy at the linebacker and the pulling guy towards the DB. But this will work on the James Houston, right? Or now it's Gaddy, whoever you want to put right there. I like this play. I like this play a lot. T.C. Taylor, I'm, I'm a big fan of this. I like this. All right. Oh, this is just a great read by the corner. Ah, oh, this is a great read by the corner. All right. If you can see the the play is going to happen on top uh, on the front side, top side. All right. I mean, great read, stutters, beats the beat both blocks, comes in, makes the tackle. Great play. Just a freaking great read. Great read by the corner. The DB. Boom. Good hit. All right. Next up. This. This is, listen, you got to do this. You have to do this against Jackson State. You have to push the ball down field. I cannot stress this enough. Shiloh is out of position. Well, he's not really out of position. I'm just saying for this throw, he can't make a play on the ball, right? Him being playing center field, he can't make a play on the ball. It's man, this is man on man. This is man on on man. That's all it is. And Felix does a great job by putting this ball to where only the receiver can make the adjustment. He makes a hell of a catch. You can live with that. That's a that's 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 a, that's perfect. That's what you want, right? And then they go right back to it on the other side. They go right back to it right here, one on one with Charles. He can't do nothing with it. They're out of position. You can't do anything. Listen, I, I got I, yeah, yeah, I gotta see my face. I, I gotta I gotta feel me on this. Jackson State can't do anything with this. All right. They can't do anything with this play. It's that easy. It's literally that easy. You got him beat. He's playing a trail technique. He's not going to look back for the ball. Why? Because he's scared to get beat. So it's that it's just that simple. It's literally that simple. But Charles makes a hell of an adjustment. Look at that. Snags the ball. They could have been doing this all day long. Without a too high safety look, this should have been a check with me call. If they weren't giving you the too high safety look, this should have been a check with me call from the quarterback and making the adjustment all day. All day. It's just that simple, man. But it is what it is. They they didn't go back to it very often. But you gotta you if it works, you gotta go back to it. That's an easy, easy, especially with LaCharles and CJ. These guys are high level receivers, especially LaCharles. He's a great hands catcher, great route runner. That's easy money for him. Every time they did that. It, they should have went back to that play. They end up getting a field goal out that possession, I believe. And I think it's uh, 3-0 at this time. Okay, once again, guys, look at this. This is bad. This is bad defense. This is bad defense, right? You're sending the blitz here, all right? This is where the blitz is coming. The blitz is coming from here. Why are you playing 15 yards off? What is this? Who can't make that? Th he should be buzzing. See, you see what I'm saying? He should be buzzing, but he's is he late? He's late. What you faking it for? What you faking it for? All right. And then I, I know you guys can't see the bottom because of the banner. I apologize. But this guy right here, he needs to be right here. He needs to be about right here to mess this timing up. This guy needs to be right here. To mess this timing up. This guy needs to bring his butt down to met to listen. You when you're playing, listen, Shador's not a dummy. He is not a rookie in this. All right. So you just you letting these guys have a free release. This is the easiest throw in the history of throws. He literally could have just hooked up right here, 
and it's an easy pitch and catch. Easy, easy pitch and catch. What are you doing? He's bailing. Come on, man. Like, in route, gone. This is just stupid, man. Who, who are you fooling? Who are you fooling with that? Who are you fooling with that? Now, now this is what it should look like if you're blitzing. You see what I'm saying? This is what it should look like. Man on. Man on top. Man on. Man on. So even if you send this guy, you got this guy to pick the inside and he can pick the outside guy. Well, which would be this guy right here. All right. That's how it's supposed to look. Jesus Christ. Once again, got the safety. Keep him in the pocket. Listen, you want your door to roll out, right? Not up the middle. You want him to roll out because he's not the fastest guy, but he is slippery, though. You know, I, you know, he's like I said, he's the slow. Oh, they didn't get a field goal on that last drive. Apologies. There's the slowest slippery dude possible. All right. This I, I like this play. Right. It's real simple, real easy, like nothing, nothing crazy. All right. Real slant. But now this is my problem with the offensive coordinator. He never sets up anything off this slant. Right. He doesn't do a slant and go at no point. He never. They had. Ne let me, I want y'all to feel me. I want y'all to feel me. They never ran not one double move all game. If you don't believe me, watch the whole freaking game. They never ran a double move all game. All game. Jackson State is too aggressive of a team. They never ran a wheel route. They never ran a pick route. Well, until the, the the horrible third and one call, they tried to do a little pick route there. But this is what I'm saying. That's bad offensive coordinating. What you do is you throw you do these set. We call them. We used to call them setup plays, right? You run double slants. You run double hitches. You you do all these basic stuff first and second quarter, right? So now they have they feel that they have your tendency down and then you set them up with the double move off of it. The slant and go the hitch and go the wheel route. You know what I'm saying? Like fake wide receiver screen. Like that's how you build on plays. It's just the, the play calling is too mundane. The play calling is too mundane. Actually, Jackson State does. Actually, Jackson State does guard slants pretty well. They really do. And because it fits their system where they want their players coming downhill. So that's actually the strength of the team. Like you taking a five yard slant to the house is highly unlikely, highly unlikely against Jackson state because they're such great tacklers and they're super aggressive. So mm, nah, you, you still got to call it though. You, it doesn't, you still have to call it. I don't care if I don't have the time, right? Because I can't assume I don't have the time. That's the problem. So that's no, that's a, that's a bad that's a bad thought process if I'm an offensive coordinator. No, I have to call it because of the fact of the matter is I got to keep them honest. You see what I'm saying? So it doesn't make sense that, oh, I don't have time. I got no, I still have to call it. I just have to make sure I block it up. If I have to go max protection, that's what I have to do. But I got to get it off. So, no, I, I have to call it. All right. I have to call it because I got to keep them honest. That just is what it is. All right. Going up. All right. Once again, 31 doing work. 31 was a problem. 31 was a problem, man. Look at this. 31 was a straight grown man. Grown man. Grown man. I just I wanted I just I just wanted y'all to see the reason I have these plays back to back like that cuz I just want y'all to see what damage he was doing in this game. Like, that's James Houston on the ground, right? That's Shiloh getting drugged. That's that's Aubrey getting drunk. Like these these are big boys. Like that's that's another mishap. Like he's doing work. He should have threw the slant up here. All right. Okay. This play right here, Felix got to sell out. He has to sell out. I'm I'm sorry. I don't give a damn about Shiloh. I don't care. You got to sell out for this. You got to sell out for this, uh, Felix. You're not playing against some rinky dink team, bro. You got to sell out for this. You know what a first down marker is. And, and the fact that you put the ball behind you makes it even worse. That's no, that tells that that's not a very good football IQ. You have to put that ball out 
ahead of yourself to get it, but you got to sell out on this. I'm so sorry, bro. I know a lot of people are like it's early in the game, Scotty. I don't want I don't want Felix to get hurt. I get it, but you got to sell out. Got you got to sell out. I'm sorry. Got to sell out. This is this is not this is not listen. You're you're playing for your this is this is for the SWAC championship. This is just the you you're literally playing for your lives for the SWAC championship. I'm sorry, you got to sell out. I'm this is not you don't have nothing locked up. You're playing for the SWAC championship. You got to sell out. Got to sell out for me. That's just that's my two cents. All right. I watched this play. They did stop him. He is short. I watched it like a few times. Now I would have went for the fourth down, but they ended up kicking a field goal. So now it's three zero. This is what I mean by show. This is what I'm this is perfect, right? This lets me know. This is what I like. This is what I like. This is how you know Shador is a pre-snap reading quarterback, right? Because he's reading this as man. There's no motion, so he can't, he can't, I, I want to break this all the way down. There's no motion in this play, so he does not know if it's zone or not because nobody, he hasn't motioned anybody in, uh... okay, let me, let me help you guys out. The reason I'm telling you to sell out, right? is because scoring opportunities against Jackson State are slim and far in between. That's why I'm telling you you have to sell out. All right? You guys are you guys are under the impression of, "Oh yeah, we're going to be back down here." You don't know that. You don't know that the on, the team there's only been one team to score three touchdowns on Jackson State and that was Texas Southern. Listen to what I'm saying. Three touchdowns, 21 points. That's it. So you're in the red zone. You have to sell out. There is no if and buts about it. You don't know if you're going to be back down there again. You don't. And if I'm being honest, you you weren't. You never went back to the red zone from that point. So however you want to see it and view it, you got to understand who you're playing against. So you have to take advantage of those opportunities. You have to go all out. Balls to the wall. All right. It, it's just that easy. It's just that easy. So that's my view on that. Gotta sell out. All right. Next up. So he doesn't know that the guy is playing a cover two shell because of the fact of the matter is he, he was pressed man, he comes off of it, boom, lays him out. Could have been a pick. All right. So that's why that's how I know Shador is a pre-snap read guy because he read this as man. But it wasn't because there was no motion. He couldn't tell if it was cover two or not. So it is what it is. Once again. All right. Did, did he catch this or no? He did. All right. So let me let, let's, let me back up. Twofold for this. Twofold for this. All right. One, I don't understand why teams don't. And I've talked to numerous defensive coordinators, right? Numerous defensive coordinators. They always tell me they don't understand why. I don't know. They. I don't know why they don't double a gap blitz Shador. Like they, I mean, like send this guy, cross this guy, send him in because you as any quarterback, no quarterback wants pressure up the middle, but they never send the pressure up the middle. They usually sit on the edges and Shador is too good. I'm not saying I'm not like you as a DN, you gotta stick, you gotta stick your foot in the ground and you gotta flatten this out. Flat flat out. You gotta you gotta come down this line, you gotta meet him on this line and flatten out, not get ran past. But at the same time, look at this. There's no pressure up the middle. There's no he has so this is a perfect pocket for him, right? This is a this is a textbook pocket for Shador. You're gonna step up, you're gonna read it, and then you're gonna find your throw. It's just too easy. It's just too easy. Too easy. All right. What do we got here? Boom. See? Ah, the bend. You got to get, you got to bend better. You got to bend. You got to bend better. You had him. You got to bend better. But at the end of the day, what does he do? Step up and gets out. This is what he does, man. Step up and get out. You have to send that double A gap blitz 
up the middle to put pressure in Shador's face. It's just that simple. Steps up, gets out. It's just that easy. Or you got to start telling your D tackles to stay, stay in the front, to push the pocket, not move. Just push up in the pocket. Stop going left and right. Oh, slippery. Come on, man. That boy is slippery. That boy is slippery. That is nasty. Come on now. That that's disgusting. Look at this. Look at you got this boy dead to rights. You got this boy dead to rights. Hold on. Me. You got this boy dead to look at this. Look at this. Dead to rights. He's with the uh, Maytag. Put that boy in the spin cycle. Stop it. Just come on, man. Come on. Then look, look, look how he sets his feet. Uh, I do this. Set my feet. Okay, nice touch over the deep. Come on, man. Come on, man. Nasty. Nasty, nasty, nasty. Second and 16. Listen, when you're, listen, nothing is too, nothing is too out of range for Jackson State. I, I want to be very clear about that. Second and 16, not a problem. Third and, third and 20, not a, because their offense is a big, play offense so second and 15 is like first and 10 for them if i'm being honest it's it's not a it's not a struggle especially if you don't have a a, a d line that can consistently bring pressure second and 16 is really nothing for jackson state if i'm being honest so I'm, I, look i'm on boom boom and and shane hooks does the rest breaks them off some first down easy money I love this play. This is this is great. This is just great quarterbacking. This is a great read by Peyton Pickett. Peyton Pickett's right here. The ball's going the, the ball's going to go right here, right? It's just this is just great quarterbacking. Pumps it, sees he's in the spot, tells him to slide over. Peyton slides over, finds space, boom, hits it, turns it up. That's that's just great quarterbacking right there. That's high level QB. That's that's high level football IQ by Peyton as well. So let's not put that on. All right, listen. So I, I really want to, I really want to break this down. Right, you will see this play again. This is what this is how they score in the red zone. All right, and Alcorn plays it perfectly the first time. Literally, they play it perfectly. All right. So he shoots the gap, plays it outside. Guy stays inside. Everybody's good. All right, everybody's good. Everybody's man on man. Everything is gravy. Now, how I was taught to play this, first of all, you shouldn't play this man. All right, that's that's rule number one. You should never play a pick route man. All right, because the whole job of these guys right here are to touch the inside man. Right. So if I'm trying to get Peyton open, I'm going to run a route to rub off on him. I'm going to run a route to, you know, maybe, maybe, oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm going to run a route to drive my man off. And then I'm going to run a route to double pick this guy. Right. So he, he's going to have to get the two picks. Hook that up. Hook that up. He has to go through two picks. Peyton Pickett comes wide open. How you're supposed to do this is you're supposed to pass this off. Right. So, this guy stays here, takes anything that comes inside. Same thing with this. So this guy right here is supposed to take that man. This guy right here is supposed to come down and pick up anything afterwards. That's how I was. That's how we were taught to play this when it comes to pick routes. Like you want to pass it off. If you do play man, you want to pass this off. But it's more best to play like, like a zone type man-ish type of feel to it. All right. But yeah, definitely, definitely want to just definitely want to pass them open. And once again, listen, all corn. Let me tell you something. Stop this. Stop doing this. this stop doing this stunt. Stop doing this stunt. Right. Stop. Stop it. This stunt does not work for y'all. Stop it. Because first of all, the guy isn't even doing it right. All right. He's not even doing it right. Yeah, this is just this is just bad. This is just bad all the way around. You getting your butt whooped by one arm. What, what, you're getting your butt whooped by one hand. 
This boy has one hand on you. I, I want y'all to see this. I, I really want y'all to see this. Oh, oh, no, let me go back. This is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. Let me see. Zoom in. He is getting beat. Oh, my God. Hold up. Do -do -do. He is getting handled by one hand right here. He's getting handled by one hand right now. When you're running this stunt, all right, the job to run this stunt, let me back it up. When you're running this stunt, it's the same thing I tell my kids when I used to coach basketball. Do your job, right? Do your job. When you're running this DN stunt like this, the tackle's job, the defensive tackle's job is to wash, oh my gosh, is to wash this tackle. You are aiming at him to push and then get up. That's your goal. You're trying to pick him to then get up to the quarterback to allow this. You want this guard to turn his shoulders so that this DN can stunt clean and free to Shador. He does a half ass job of doing his job. He doesn't, he doesn't get the tackle like he's supposed to. He's not supposed to be, he's supposed to, Get this tackle. He doesn't do his job by maintaining the center. So now he kicking your butt with one hand. Now he about to kick his butt with one hand. This is ridiculous. And then leaves no containment. All right. I told you the play was coming back. I told you this play was coming right back. Right. And what do they try to do? They try to send the inside man again. All right. This guy should be out here. You have enough. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You're good. This is a perfect matchup. All right. He should be taking anything that comes outside here. He's watching the inside. Boom. He's taking anything that comes inside. He's taking anything that comes inside. So there's no reason why Keith Corbin should be that open. There should have been no reason that Keith Corbin was literally that wide open. Boom. He should have been right here waiting for this. He should be on top of one. He should be on him. And the far corner out here should be getting Peyton Pickett. That's how that should be working out. They don't know what to do. And the thing about it that makes it even, the thing that makes it about it even worse is that you know that's what Jackson State likes to do. All right? If you watch film, you've seen them run pick routes. You've seen them run fade routes on the goal line. So it should be something you should be teaching in practice. Something you should be teaching in practice. Once again, so this is a bad, this is just, this is just bad, man. This is just bad. This is just bad. All right. Listen to dim boys, whatever your name is in the chat, talking about, you don't have time to do a double move. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. You got plenty of time. So shut that shit up. All right. You got plenty of time. That's one, two. All right. This is where the ball should have gone. This is where the ball should have gone. You have what you want. One-on-one -on -one with the safety. One-on-one -on -one with the safety. You got what you want. There's nobody here. There's nobody here. Take the shot. Take the shot. That's what. This is what you want. Throw that back shoulder fade again. Throw the back shoulder. Look, he's looking. He wants the back shoulder. You throw that thing right here. We back in business. Oh my God! It, it, you gotta, you gotta know what you're looking at. You gotta know what you're looking at, and at the same time, what helps you is motion. Motion lets you know what you're looking at. All right, motion lets you know what you're looking at. All right. Once again, this is just, and this just got on, this got on him fast, but 
Yeah, you get you gotta catch that. I'm sorry. Just yeah, you can't you can't have that. That's just that simple. You can't have that. He ain't want to throw it at Shiloh again. Why why should he be scared of Shiloh? I'm not about to entertain y'all dumb stuff. When you got some football IQ, holla at me. Anyway, all right, once again, a horrible stunt. All right. He does a better job of getting to the tackle, but he doesn't come upfield. All right. He doesn't come upfield and get the tackle. He just goes straight for the tackle. You got to come up and out to get that guy. You see what I'm saying? The guard, that's man, this guard plays this so perfectly. He stays square, doesn't turn his shoulders, and lets, once again, you let Shador get out the pocket. Really could have ran for the first down, most likely. Once again, now this is my thing. Now you're starting to see them play off coverage, right? You're not seeing the press man that you're usually seeing. You're not seeing, if you look up here, off man, off man, and even down here is off man, right? So these bubble screens, um, you know, coming down, setting picks, bubble screens, that's there. Uh, smoke, a smoke screen. Real quick throws, that's there. Uh, once again, the, the fade, because listen, he can't be everywhere. This guy can't be everywhere. So you still have the, what you want. You send him on a short a short hitch. You send him on that deep fade route. Throw that back shoulder, it's there. You got to attack. But it's bad blocking, though, on the, on, the, on the offensive line at the same time. Once again, 31 doing work. 31. Oh, I thought I thought Shiloh didn't want the Shiloh. Since we since Smelly Socks, Smelly Socks, since you want to talk about Shiloh, what happened right here? Since you want to talk about Shiloh. But what, what happened here? One on one, mano y mano. What happened? This this your boy. This your boy right here. This your boy right here. What happened? What we doing? What we doing? Yeah, you ain't want that smoke. Yeah, you ain't want that smoke. You you didn't want that smoke. Come on, come on, come on, come on. What, what are we talking about, Smelly? Where, where you at, Smelly? What are we talking about? All right. What? Bam. All day. All day. All day. This is all day. Oh, I, 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 let me do. Let me go close thirty on y'all real quick. Let me go close thirty on y'all real quick. Let me go. Davis, what's this, Davis? What's this? Okay, yep. Moment too big. Scared, just pissed down my leg. You know, not in the weight room. Didn't didn't want any parts of him. Yep, yep. Just jump on his back, take him for a ride, dragging your knees across the ground. Wow. A, come on, Davis. What are we doing, Davis? This is this is all day. It's literally all day. It's been there all day. It was there all day. He sh listen, when you play that single high look, when you play that single high look, you can't be everywhere. All right? That's why that's why people playing against Jackson State don't play it, right? Because this is what happens to you. You get beat over the top. So it's it's been there all day. That single high had been there all day. The route had been there all day. The back shoulder fade has been there all day. As an offensive coordinator, you got to see that, man. You got to see that. I, I actually love this play call right here. I want y'all to watch this. I want y'all to really watch this. I love this. T.C. Taylor, I, I freaking love this, right? Hey, man, you over here coaching, coaching. Watch this. Watch this dude right here. That's football 101. That's listen. I listen. 52 ate it though. 52 ate it though. I ain't gonna lie. He ate that. He he was like, that's light work. What you doing, little man? That's light work. But man, listen, this is this is what Bamas need to be doing to James Houston every single play. 
buyout, just just side swiping. That's football, man. Come on, baby. But it wasn't enough. He still kind of got there, though. But 13 came up, too. But that's football, man. Listen, that TC keeps calling. Keep calling that play, TC. I love that. I love that type of stuff, man. That's. I love that kind of stuff, man. That's 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 what receivers live for, man. Like you be like, oh, I'm about to crack back the shit out of him. Ah, oh, uh, I thought I thought it was too. I thought it was too, man. I thought it was too. And the crack block, I'm, I'm answering them boys. I thought it was, but as long I, I feel like as long as you're in front, as long as you're in front, you're pretty good. Um, so I think I think he was good on that one. All right, so let's keep going. Come on, man. No, look, look, look at, look, look at this. First of all, this boy is getting beat like a drum. Right, this boy is getting beat like a drum over there, over here. He is getting beat. But look at Shador though. Look at this. Look at this. Slow and slippery. Oh, oh. <laughs> you know what the? You know, look, look at it. Ole, that, that boy nasty. <laughs> Yo, I'm sorry. I, I tell you, I watched this play like ten times. This joke is so nasty, bro. He hit it with the oop, oop, boop. <laughs> yo, respect the moves, bro. That Jake is, yo, that was nasty. I'm sorry. I got to see this one more time. I just love this. This is, this is just, this is great. This is great pocket presence, man. This is just great, great pocket presence. I mean, you, man, listen. Come on, man. Any. If you're not an Andrew body that's super fast or whatever, this is a layout. Like you're getting molly whopped, okay? He hit him with the boop, 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 doo, doo. Like, come on, man. Uh, uh, can't touch this. Dun, 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 dun. Come on, man. That that's smooth. I'm sorry. That's smooth. I love it. I love it. I love, you listen, you gotta that's some that's some that's that's nice. That's nice. That's that's lovely. Hit him with the uh, uh, hit him with the pop. Hit him with the uh, Hit him with a two time. Uh -uh. No, he's not. I'm sorry. I I I probably watched that play like ten times. I ain't gonna lie to you. Oh, listen. I I need people to understand what this. People don't respect. And I saw this in the game. People gotta see what this man did. This young man. This is what you call doing your job, right? I want you. I want you to. I want you to see this man right here. Let me. Let me. I want to. I really. Twenty one. Right here. All right. I want I want you guys to see this man right here. This is what you're called doing your job. I didn't ask you to be a hero. Just do your job. And what does he do? He does his job, takes out the block. That's that you don't see that stuff in the stat sheet, right? Because what happens is if he stays on his feet and gets blocked out the play. Then the, deep, the 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 alignment can still be going down the field making another block. He does his freaking job and allows the next man to make the tackle. That's doing your freaking job. Shout out to you, my boy. Shout out to whoever 21 is for doing your freaking job. You, it, that won't be on the stat sheet, my boy, but that's doing your freaking job, allowing your teammates to make the play behind you. Shout out to you, man. People he, people ain't going to see that on the stat sheet, but shout out to you. All right. Jawan Taylor. Shout out to Jawan Taylor for doing his freaking job, man. Doing his freaking job. Look at this, man. Look at this. They don't want no problems with this boy. They don't want, they don't, I'm telling you, this offensive coordinator was smoking crack at halftime, bro. I, I I highly believe he was smoking crack because he cannot see that this all corn offensive line is one, getting a push, two, 31 is running like he is Marshawn Lynch's little brother right here. Come on, man. They don't want these problems. They don't want these problems. Oh, my God. Freaking play it. This is, man. This is, man. This is, has to be the worst call of the year. Now, uh, Mr. Campbell and them boys, this is where I would agree with you. This is, should have been a two. Should have ran the ball twice with 31 right here. And it doesn't. 
Yeah, you should have run the ball twice with 31. This has to be the dumbest play of the year. If there was a war in the SWAC, if there was a war in the SWAC of dumbest play of the year, this is the dumbest play of the year. By far. By far. This is where you lost your momentum at. And and I can't even be mad because it's open. But he just didn't make the play. Just I, and I, I didn't, when I saw it, I was like, bro, you're trying to be cute. You're just trying to be cute. You're trying to be cute. Dumbest play of the year, by far. Dumbest play of the year. And you lost your momentum. Because now think about it. I, I really want y'all to break this down. You're at 241, right? Right here. If y'all looking at the, right here, 241. You pick this first down. I'm, let me just talk to y'all for a second. And this is all hypothetical, right? But let's just say, you pick that first down up. The play clock is 25 seconds. Y'all already know how it is. Resetting the clocks and stuff like that. You most likely run the clock down to the end of, to the beginning of the fourth quarter. So now you're going into the fourth quarter 10-10, right? You're going into the fourth quarter 10-10 with a possibility of you kicking a field goal, possibility of you maybe scoring a touchdown, possibility of you pinning them even deeper, to, in, you know, in the, in, the, in the back of, you know, into the end, uh, on their side of the field. That, this play right here, to me, was one of the most egregious calls ever. Just in my personal opinion, but, you know, what do I know? I'm just a YouTuber. All right. This is the Shane Hooks touchdown. It, listen, guys, if you ever plan, oh, let me, I'm sorry, let me make it full screen. If you're playing Jackson State, you, have, one, you have to be disciplined. Two, because I'm just telling you the play's coming up here. So if you guys want to focus in on that. So right here, once again, the wheel route. All right. So, Shane Hooks does a great job by getting on the receiver's toes, right? And he's bending this route. This DB, first of all, this safety is already out of position. Uh, he's already out of position. He's already out of position. He's just he's, he's out. He should be here. He should have already been back here already. That's that's war number one. He should be dropping. Look, I mean, he barely takes. You see what I'm saying? He's not. He, he's probably shuffled back like four steps, right? He needs to bail. You're a too high look. You need to bail. You need to, I mean, not, yeah, you need to bail. You need to get out. All right. You need to get out. So Shane Hooks does a great job up here getting on the receiver's toes, right? I mean, getting on the DB's toes. That's what you're taught. He starts to bend this route in coming for the post. This DB does the wrong thing. He undercuts the route. He tries to undercut it, right? Right here, he tries to undercut it. He needs to play up high. He needs to play over top of this route. He tries to undercut it. And, I mean, it's just, yeah. It's just, yeah, it's a touchdown. And this safety is doing him no favors because he's focusing on him. And he's trying to jump this dig route for what I have no reason why. No reason why. Stay your ass where you're supposed to be over the top. And that doesn't happen, all right? This touchdown never occurs, but should do a reason, hits him, easy money. Easy money. And I, if I'm being honest, I think the corner kind of, I think the corner kind of put it, played in a trail technique because he knew he was supposed to have safety help over top, if I'm being honest. So I can't even really blame the safety. I mean, blame the corner. Yes, he's supposed to run with them. But him understanding, he knew he had safety help. He's expecting the safety help. You know what I'm saying? So, but it didn't happen. That's that play is not supposed to happen in too high. That play is not. You're he's supposed to get now. Listen, let me because somebody said somebody got beat. Yeah, everybody gets beat. We understand that, right? Let me back it up just a little bit. This play. Where the ball should have gone is here. The ball is supposed to go to the dig. You'll live with the ball going to the dig, going to the check down. You're okay with that, right? And you have to do your scouting report on Jackson State. Once they cross this midfield, 
they about taking shots. They want this is their shot zone, right? When they get into this, when they get into this area of the field from the 30 to 40 area, when they get into this area, they about taking shots. All right. They will take shots here to the end zone. So you have to know your scout report and know, okay, they're probably going to look to go for a big play here. That's what Jackson State does. So the dig route is where the ball is actually supposed to go in a too high look like this because he's supposed to be over the top. This is supposed to be wide open. So, yeah, the ball is supposed to go here and you'll live with that. You'll live with the dig, but you can't live with the you can't live with the giving up the post. So that's what it is. So, this is where I this is where I feel like the offensive coordinator panicked. And what I mean by panicked is he got away from what um, the team did well. You see what I'm saying? I, I I don't like this at all. Not even a little bit. Right? I feel like you should run the ball. I feel like you panicked. I, I honestly feel like you panicked and started just calling pass plays just to call them. You have good receivers, like, like another pass play. For what? Why? You've been running the ball so well. Why are you, why are you, why did you just three straight pass plays? He panicked. Now, this is a great catch by CJ, by the way. Great catch by CJ. But I don't like the play calling. Three straight pass plays. Three straight pass plays. When you've been, when you've been running the ball so so well, you panicking. He's panicking. All right. That, to me, that was a straight panic mood. Once again, and look at just look at James. Look at James beat this boy like he's five years old. Look look at James right here. This is just come on, man. Look at look. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Once again, because you're panicking and you're calling. This is how I know Bama's don't really be knowing football. And I'm and I'm talking about Elliot Rotten, right? The 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 success formula against Jackson State is actually to run the ball, right? Run the ball, make throws when you have to make throws, right? Make the throw that you have to make. This should be a quick throw. All right. This should be a quick throw. You can look, look, look. Stop. Stop. Turn around. This, this, what, why are you making this difficult? They're playing off, man. Turn around. Hitch it up. Right? I don't, that's one. And then two, you're going away from what you do well. The more times you pass the ball against Jackson State, the more leverage you give James Houston to come get you. All right? The more leverage you give Antoine Owens to come get you. That's what they're, they're built to, they're built for this. They're built for the pass. You're, you're asking for trouble. To keep throwing the ball against Jackson State, you're asking for trouble. Boom. Gets molly whopped. Keontae Hampton. Once again, guys, this is, and you, you, I, I, I'm glad, I want you guys to see what I've been talking about from the beginning. You're blitzing. Why is, this is a, Shadour is not, oh, I'm sorry, I, yeah, I don't got the full screen, I'm sorry, guys. Shadour is not a dummy. He can read this pre-snap and he, you're blitzing. Come on, man. You're blitzing. Why is he playing so far off? You're blitzing. Shadour is not a dummy. This is an easy read. You throw at the blitz. Come on. It's an easy read, man. Easy read. You're not making this, you're not making it hard. You think you are, but you're not. You're trying to, you're, you're not. This, man, listen, this play right here saved Alcorn. Saved Alcorn. Do you hear me? Because they was about to score again. Saved them. Kept them in the game. All right. Let me tell you this. I, I'll tell you this straight up. So after that play, after the snap and they got off the field, man, Dion rode his uh 
He rolled his uh his wheel his handicap wheelchair down, and he laid into them offensive linemen. Do you hear me? That center, whoever he was, bro, I'm telling you, Dion chewed him out in the wheelchair and then rolled off on him. Boy, skirt uh, skirt out on him. All right. So here we go. Once again, not running the ball. Once again, not running the ball. All right. Oh, look, look at the good things that happen when you run. Look at the good things that happen when you run. All right. So this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Uh, Calvin, I sat on the uh, Jackson State side. I was in the reserve seats on the Jackson State side. This is what I'm talking about, but setting up a double move. You be, Look at this. He's already jumping it because you've been running slants all day. You've been running this slant all damn day. This has to be a setup play. This is how I know you. Like, Elliot Rotten, you need to be fired. All right. Look at this. Plenty of time. So I don't want to hear about no he. Felix has plenty of time. You have been, this is the, this is the exact moment. I need y'all to feel me on this one. This is the exact moment when that is when you call a double move. You've been setting this play up all game long and you're just saying, we got you. You think you know what's coming? It's not. And if I'm being 100% honest, I wouldn't even ran it the double move with this guy because it's too close to the safety. This is a little too close to the safety. I would have ran the double move with this guy, right? I would have ran the double move with him because that's more space that Shiloh has to cover. So I'm going to get a quick slant here. So what I would have done right here is this. I would have done a quick slant. Oh, my God. I'm sorry, guys. I would have done a quick slant. I would have done a quick slant here, right? And then I would have done another quick slant and gone. Slant and go. Sluggo, all right? So slant and go. That's what I would have done here on this on this guy because it would have been more space for him to cover. But yeah, so all you so they just ran this basic ass slant and he jumps it. And he jumps it. What he's supposed to do. Which what he's supposed to do. So it just just bad play calling, bro. Just bad play calling. And uh Shadow gets the ball back. This is listen, this was the most egregious call that was not called all game, flat out. This is holding beyond belief. Look at this. Let me see if I can zoom in. Look at this. Oh, did it again. All right. Right there. Right there. Come on, bro. This is a sack. This is a sack. That is the most egre. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? This is the most egregious hold in the book. Oh, my bad. Sorry. This is the most egregious call in the look at this. Look at this. I hope y'all can see that. He's holding them flat as day. What are you looking at? That's why y'all Bama should be paid in EBT cards. Come on, man. Look at that. Look at that. He's still holding them. He's still. Man. Now I should have been second. It should have been first and 20. That's come on, bro. Come on, bro. Let, let, this this whole series should have been holding something, blocking the back. What you want to name on this one? What you want to name on this one? Look at look at this. That's holding right here. Right. I, I'm gonna wait to the bar. I hope my, my banner goes away. Do do do. Oh, the banner goes away. 
That's holding. That this right here, that's holding. That come on, man. Come on, man. What we doing? What we doing? Come on, man. That's two on the same drive now. On the same drive. And the play was going that way. That's the key. I wouldn't really care if it was away from the play. I'd be like, ah, eh, right, you know, that's that's those both of those were towards the play. That's what makes it even more egregious. All right. That's what makes it more egregious. If it was away from the play, I'd be like, eh, that's that's ticky tack. But that was towards the play on both of those. So you got to call those. This is the play of the game. This is the this is I'm just that much better than all of you Bamas. All right. That's what Shadur is saying in this. This is play of the game. Flat out. Third and 13. You get them off the field. You get the ball back. You have a chance to score and tie the game up. This is the play of the game. All right. Shuffles up. Looks down the field. Still keeps his eyes down the field. Now, this is where it happens at. Third and 13 now. That's what you let happen. That's what you let happen. On third and 13, that's what you let happen. That's game. That's the end of the game right there. That's the end of the game right there. Third and 13, that's what you allow to happen. And you expect to win a game. No. That that that's inexcusable. And third and 13, and that's what you nah, bro. Nah, bro. That was huge. That was huge. And I mean that that play was all Shador. Play was all Shador. Steps up, misses this. I mean, avoids the sack, keeps his eyes downfield, hits his, knows where his check down is, hits the check down. You know what I'm saying? And then Pickett picks up 13 yards. They end up going down the field and they end up putting another touchdown on the board. That's the game right there. You get a stop right there. You get a chance to, to make another play opportunity. But let's think about it. You got two penalties that weren't called. Could have been first and 20. Could have been second and 15. You know, like all type of stuff. So it just it just goes to show you that, you know, you need a little luck and a little help to also beat Jackson State. But hey, guys, appreciate you guys for tuning in with me. That is the my film breakdown. Listen, what I what I've come to realize over this time in the season for the SWAC is simple. When you're playing Jackson State, your players can get you there. Coaching gets you the wind. All right, I'm gonna say that one more time. Players will get you there. Coaching will get you the win. All right. All corns players came to play 31, 44, 34. 13, 21, they all, Latrell, see, they all came to play. The talent di disparity was not very high in this game. And I can honestly say that the talent disparity was not a factor in this game. Coaching lost you this game. Flat out, flat out. There's no if and buts about it. And anybody saying Jackson State is just that much better than uh, than Alcorn, that's not true. If you watch that game entirely, that is not true at all. All right? At all. This game, this was probably the most evenly matched. And and I know a lot of people say Malachi wasn't there, Nugget wasn't there. I get it. But listen, that's not Alcorn's fault. Alcorn can only do what Alcorn can do and play the players that they were. So, in, in my in my humble opinion, that the reason that they didn't win... Now, don't get me wrong. Shador did make the plays that needed to be made. You know what I'm saying? Because he, he made a lot of plays. But for Alcorn, the players came to play. The coaching didn't. The coaching left... The coaching left you at halftime. The coaching did not show up in this game at all to give you a real opportunity to win this game and to really make it competitive, which it was most of the game. I mean, you're talking about... The score is 10 10 at the end of the third quarter, pretty much. You know what I'm saying? That's a, that's a, against Jackson State, that's a win. You know what I'm saying? Keeping the game close, shrinking the game. All right. So that's, that is what it is. So, hey, guys, you can't, yeah, the non calls hurt, but you still had a chance to win the game, even with the non calls. So that's why I'm putting it on a lot of coaching. All right. I'm putting it on a lot of coaching. Um, all right. So, hey, guys, listen, Wednesday, 
All right. Round table. Me and Blue. All right. 730. We're breaking down the Southeast Louisiana game. And um, the Pop Warner Classic. But we're really going to be breaking down the Southeastern uh, the game. All right. So that's what it is. Don't miss it. You can't miss it. It's going to be epic for sure. All right. Epic for sure. We're breaking it all the way down. I mean, and if you have any questions, any possible questions, all right, you can call in. We're, we'll be on there. We'll be answering, you know, Blues, you know, Mr. Analytics, he's going to give it all to you. Boy Wonder going to give it, going to give you every bit of numbers, stats or whatever. All right. So make sure you have all your questions written down and make sure you know uh, what you want to talk about when you call in. All right. But we're going to break that game down to the fullest. So you, the, the so you, the viewer can have all the information you need to make your bets and your picks of who you going with. All right. So until next time, guys, you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to holler. God bless.